Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial from SkySiv. Uh, my name's Sam, I'm going to take you through uh, examples of how to use the grid, snapping and drawing functions that have recently been released in our latest version, uh, version 3 of SkySiv Structural 3D. Um, this is automatically pushed to all of our users so there's nothing to download and install as we are completely cloud based. Um, we simply push them to our, our users and you just simply have to refresh the page to have access to the latest version of all our features and all our functionality that we offer here at SkySim. So um, you'll notice that there's a new pen button here. So that's how we um, open up the menu that will toggle uh, the different tools that we have available now. So we have our default cursor, um, the grabbing tool which allows you to move nodes and the pen tool which allows you to draw members and nodes much more easily. Um, we'll start off with looking at some of the grid features that we've offered, that we've uh, uh, released. Um, we have a simple toggle switch here which will turn on the different uh, uh, grids that you'd like to look at. So here we have XZ and we can see that's just uh, corresponding to the XZ axis, global axis here in our uh, coordinate system. And you can toggle on multiple so we can do the XY with the XZ or the YZ um, with the XZ as well. Um, now you've also got a few other options here, so we've got start position, uh, which is XYZ uh, coordinate, so we can move uh, and shift our grid along the any other axis, so maybe we want to shift it across the Z axis by 10 feet, um, if I put in 10, um, we will see it's moving in the positive 10, which is in here, out towards the page, uh, but for now I'll leave it at 0, 0, 0. Um, the grid size is simply the size of these uh, cubes here, or these squares, uh, so here it's 2 by 2 feet, um, so if we want to make them larger, we can obviously go 4 or 0 0.5, we want to make them smaller. And then the total size of the grid is simply how far this distance is here. And so maybe we'll change that to 10 feet. And so now we have uh, uh, 20 squares of 0.5 feet each. Um, and that's what's uh, set as these settings here. You can also change the different level height. So we can, um, if we're just looking at XZ for instance, um, we can put in three levels. So if we're building up, maybe we want to look at uh, three different heights um, in the Y, and we can obviously change these to say being uh, seven feet up and three levels. But for now, we'll just leave that as one. I'll take you through a simple example of how we can use the uh, the grid system to to plot a few nodes um, in co in uh, collaboration with the pen tool as well. So once we've set our grid, um, we can just open up our drawing options, and we've got a few options here. So we can um, choose to either connect the members or just plot nodes. So connecting members is as we're plotting the nodes, um, it'll actually be joining them with members as well. So we can see here as I'm plotting my nodes and snapping to the grid here, um, we're drawn uh, four members there, uh, one, two, three, and four. Otherwise, if you want to just plot nodes, you can simply um, select any point on the, uh, on the grid and it will uh, plot those nodes there for you. And this is particularly useful if we're, say, looking at plan view and we want to uh, plot some sort of um, floor plan, uh, we can just simply snap to the grid um, and we don't have to stick to any part of the, of the uh, model as well, uh, any part of the grid, so we can simply snap wherever we like. Um, and, you know, if we want to include the members in that, we can do that as well, so just snapping outwards to the elements there. And you might notice as well that some of the snapping uh, features are kicking in. So um, this is under snapping options here. And we can choose to turn that on and off. So uh, right now, if we hover from a node, it will um, show us where we're coming from. But uh, we can obviously turn that feature off. So if we don't want that uh, particular behavior, we, we can turn that off. Uh, we can also choose to show the coordinate system as well. Um, so we can also see uh, when we're moving from these nodes, um, what the coordinates of that uh, proposed node is there. So I can see it's 10, 0, 18, uh, and it's 8 feet from node 10. So plotting that node there, um, you, you have some sort of reference uh, of where that's going to be set. So I'll, just, I'll turn off the grid to make this a little clearer to see. Um, but the snapping feature is really quite useful if you, if you want to quickly model out um, parts of your building. And you can see there it snaps to so, sort of secondary nodes. So I can see this one is aligning with uh, node 11, which makes input a lot easier, so you don't have to think about where your XYZ coordinates are, you can simply just uh, click a node and snap to the height of the rest of your model uh, or to some sort of coordinate. So for instance, in this one, I'm snapping to the uh, X coordinate aligning with node 12, 
And it just makes things a lot easier if you're trying to uh, plot out or sketch out a building um, quite quickly. So you can see that the building is starting to shape, take shape. Uh, we have some other options in Snap, uh, sorry, the drawing options here. So um, say you want to do sort of a span out here, you can see as I'm hovering across the, um, the length of that member is changing in that input box. Um, so what we can do is actually put in say 5 feet and hit enter and 10 feet. So we can kind of span out um, the different lengths of, of our beams or a, or a structure and then we can um, obviously hover out across the, the z-axis to align with uh, the rest of the model and, and build out accordingly. Um, yeah, you can also uh, lock to certain lengths. So say we want to just do uh, 20 foot uh, members. We can lock that and basically anywhere we click up here is now going to automatically snap to 20 feet. So I can quickly just uh, map out some heights there and maybe I'm going to go across there. Maybe I'm just sticking with 20 feet members. Um, and you can uh, choose to unlock that at any time. Uh, you can also snap to midpoint like mid-member points, so if I want to sort of snap to mem member 32, I can do that, or I can come back down uh, to member 28 and snap to that one as well. Uh, so it's quite quite flexible in what you can do. Uh, the main thing is when you're using the snapping tool is when you hover over uh, that node, that becomes your reference node, and so you're snapping along the z-axis in this case, or you can snap along the y-axis, or of course the x-axis as well, so um, that that's the the main set of uh, criteria. You can also, for instance, if you don't want it to snap to that member, that node 31 anymore, just hit the escape key. So by hitting escape, it'll unlock that as being your reference node and allow you to freely move your pen tool without any snapping occurring. Um, otherwise, if you if you have ho uh, hovered over a node or clicked a node, it will snap to that particular node. In this case, it's uh, 31. Uh, I've also got a uh, grabbing tool as well which in, in real time if you kind of click and grab it'll snap uh, along the axis as well so you can easily move um, nodes along uh, any axis that you would have uh, otherwise drawn them uh, so this makes editing your model really easy you can also do uh, multiple members there or multiple nodes and snap there so you can make changes really quickly uh, the alternative is you can also uh, mass highlight or mass select there and just by clicking nodes, you can uh, automatically edit these. So right now they have a Y of 10 feet. Maybe we want to bump that up to 15. If we just change 15 there, um, you can also do that that way as well. So a whole new uh, range of different features and functionality that we have that will hopefully make your modeling a lot easier and speed up your uh, design processes. So thanks for checking out the video on how to use the grid snapping and drawing functions in SkyCiv Structural 3D. Uh, we're working hard every day to improve the software uh, and release new features to our users on a weekly basis. Um, this is on the back of all of our other functionality which we have for, uh, so it is a full featured structural analysis program with multiple analysis types and multiple design codes including AISC, ACI and Australian standards. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at skyciv.com. Uh, otherwise, check out the features and let us know what you think. Thanks.